Hello, my great and wonderful people. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. And today we get this message for our table. We want to be saying one quickly review to Una concerning the things we want to be saying if they happen right now for inside this country, Nigeria. This one we want to be saying we get for our table. Now, the one we want to be saying it concern one former lawmaker when he be saying name na Senator Ato. Zeribe, when it be say it don't kick buckets right now. When we use that word, say it kick bucket, it me say it don't meme, it don't go the world of no return. Yes. The reason why it be say we carry this news can not be to help the family of this man to announce their death or even to mock these people. No. We sympathize with the family. But the major reason why Ibisi will carry this news con now to use and send message across to the one when Ibisi is still remain, when Ibisi he called themselves senators and uh, all the chairmen is them, when Ibisi they dilute this country dry, all in the name of politics. We want you this medium to remember they say, no matter how they try to loot this country dry and make Nigerians suffer. For the things we need to be said we're not supposed to suffer about. Say their end in all the past like this. <laughs> yes, now the reason why EBC will carry this news come. In case they forget, say that they die. Uh -huh. If they see news like this, they will remember, say, now senator like them, when EBC is the end million million naira few months ago, now he don't kick bucket. So one day, one day, then they say, no matter how they try to protect themselves with the blood of innocent Nigerians, see, then we'll see answer to this call. All right, after this very one, we we'll still get another video again when we we'll see the review to Una, even for the course of this program. We'll just be going to make Una sit down, relax with us, because a lot today, when we say we need to check banners together, even for the comment session. And as we do so, God Almighty will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. With that, we will not waste any of our time. We will do small reading from inside this very one. Then, before we bring the video. And as we put our hand there for inside this matter, the comic us understand, say, former senator, when he be say, in him na Francis Atto Nzeribe, don't pass to the world beyond. And stay on top of the matter. The comic us understand, say, this Nzeribe, so when he be say, what they talk about, he died for the age of 83 years on Sunday morning. And again, the counter said the former lawmaker he died for an undisclosed sickness, which is sickness when the BC did not let anybody know for foreign hospital. And again, the counter say he died this very morning, which is a Sunday morning, for hospital for abroad. The family that will soon release the statement when he BC he concerned the whole issue. And for us to conclude this matter, I beg listening to the conclusion of this man, waiting the review for this man body, even for your own deaths. Here, waiting the talk concerning this man. And the counter said, This is the ribbon, when they talk about so the election as a senator to represent Olu for the year 1999. And for November 2002, the former Senate president, when they say, in him now, Ayim Pius Ayim. Suspend this Nzeribe indefinitely over an allegation of 22 million naira fraud. They suspend this man. I think this Ain Pius Ain, so now in the run for the position of president, even as we did talk right now, is still there alive. They suspend this man because of say, he thief he own people money, he thief or lose people money. The people want to be say, the electors say make it represent them out of trust. It if they are 22 million naira. Today, you know that. Now, the money the money now, the money now if you sustain in life, eh? No matter how rich this man thinks say he be, right? I think even for the process of our reading now, they say he still die for hospital for abroad. He still get the money to fly in his own self to abroad to secure his own life. He not still die. He still die. You feel ask us now, say whether he no die for old age. Somebody want to be say he died for 83 years. He never old. Not true, say he old. 
But the truth of the matter not pass, be say, the causes of the people, if truly say this money wouldn't be say, they make the suspect down for that 2002. So, say it's if on all people money, the causes will see follow and enter grave. Yes, the Bible say after death, judgment, it will face the judgment right now. If truly say life day beyond this, uh, it's when it be say with this. So, wait till go profit you to get the whole world. And lose your soul. This one are the question. Eh? They just make mention of that with the two million naira. Not be only that one, no. If we say me, we dig details now concerning this man, you will understand. Say, he use the own people. I see Shege. Just like all these ones now, when we say that they parabolate themselves like Alpha and the Omega. Like something when we say that they create their own selves. Right now, you they see all of them. Like people will be said, they will feel sustain their lives by their own selves. One day, one day, all of Una will die, leave this money. When it be said, Una be embezzled, so they make Nigerians, they suffer. All because Una wants, may with the worship Una, like the deity. When it be said, Una never be, and Una will not will ever be. See, so, now the reason why busy will carry this news come. Now Una mates, Una brother, now he dies so. If una like or make una live to 100 years, una will still die. Now here una for meet the money, now here una will still live. Majority of una, una will die, leave this money for account when it be say, nobody even know. Yes. Enemy, now he will do away with all those property and all those money. A lot of una, una will die, leave all this money for foreign banks. Yes. People when they be say in no labor, in no sweat, na he go chop this money last last. Una will waste rust through way. All right, my great and wonderful people. I know the way when they be say we take the talk, we talk very harsh, but truly, we must say the truth and we must stand by the truth. Enough, not day enough for these politicians. May we remember them the date of their death. Death na something when they be say everybody will taste, even us will taste them. But a good, may we taste them for a good record. Even as this man still die right now, still imagine, they're not going to say because I say he die. May they forget, say, ah, he be thief money, may they not write on, they still write on. If man feel remember, God will also remember his own evil deeds. All right, my great and wonderful people, I will leave on a make on a share on our opinion with us on the comment section, even as we leave you to watch this next video. We'll come back for the conclusion. I've never ever felt so ashamed of being a Nigerian. I've never felt this low about being a Nigerian. Nigeria is one country that I've always been proud of. This is my home. I don't have any other one. But for the first time, I've been so ashamed of the fact that this nation actually exists and not just exists, but it's supposed to have over 200 million people. 200 million people that have turned themselves to dumb slaves. You know, I watched the Ukrainian soldiers where they were singing that they would rather fight and die than to live as dumb slaves. And all that came to my mind was my country. My country and my people. We have turned ourselves to dumb slaves. People that should be in jail are the one running around going, looking for to be the president of our country. People that should be in jail that should never, ever, ever be allowed anywhere near power are the ones who are deciding what our future will be like. And guess what citizens are doing? They're busy complaining. They're busy praying to God, doing nothing and praying to God. Those politicians are on, running all over the country, working so hard, going to Mecca, going to Jerusalem, going to churches, going to mosques, going to shrines, going to everywhere to ensure that they get into power and continue to enslave the people and continue to give bad governance. They are not sitting down at home and simply praying to God that things will work. A woman gave birth in captivity and it's not an issue in Nigeria. We simply have moved on. Soldiers are being beheaded, and it is not an issue in Nigeria. We simply have moved on. Or we, 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 are, we are looking the other way and praying that we don't become victims while doing nothing. What kind of people are we? 
Every time you're sitting down exchanging WhatsApp messages, you're sending WhatsApp videos, you sit down in your corner, so you're talking about how things are not working, or how this and that. You have not only enslaved yourself, but you're going to enslave your children, your grandchildren, and your great-grandchildren. Aren't we ashamed of ourselves? Can we just sit for a moment as a Nigeria? Sit for a moment. Let us be ashamed of ourselves. That in our own country, a pregnant woman was taken away. A pregnant woman was taken away by terrorists. She has delivered within terrorist captivity in captivity. And yet it is nothing. It is not election matter. None of these people who are saying they want to be president are talking about this thing. All they are talking about is their form, consensus, and this and that. We don't matter. Even if they want to make us slaves, must we allow ourselves to be made slaves? Some Nigerians are busy talking about 2015 election. When 2019 election have passed, 2023 election is by you. But looking at you, staring at us, we would rather... We will rather sit down and not do nothing and not do anything. Sit down and romanticize the past while doing nothing about the future. Sit down and be talking about 2015 election when they are going to enslave you again with 2023 election. 2022 is looking so similar to 2014 that it's so scary. All of these atrocities are being done and yet they are not electoral issues. If you don't make them election issue, who is going to make them election issue? The people that are coming, they want to be your president and whatever, they don't care. They want to continue. They want to continue to ride on your head because, of course, anybody that has dumb slaves, we continue to ride on their heads and use them, not only use them, but we ensure that their own children and their children's children use them. Our parents were enslaved. By the parents of those people. They have enslaved us. And we want their children to enslave our children again. Are you not tired? When they ask you to come and do something, you say you can't do anything. But you can sit down and send WhatsApp messages. You can talk. You can talk about how Nigeria is no good. Nigeria is no good because you aren't doing anything. Because you have not stood up to say that you matter and that you are deserving of a country that fits you. You are ready to be like a slave in your own country. Why few people are running around? This is the time that Nigerians are citizens. We have power. This is the time for you to use your power. This is the time for you to come out and ensure that these people do not get away. A woman is in captivity. She has just given birth in captivity. People were taken away over a month now. Nothing is being done about it. You think they don't pray? You think you pray more than they do? I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. Being a victim in Nigeria is no longer a matter of if, it's a matter of when. When will it be your turn? Are you going to sit down and do nothing? This is the time for you to decide who becomes the president of your country. This is the time for you to decide who becomes the governor of your state. This is the time for you to decide who becomes your senator, who becomes your House of Rep member, who becomes your state House of Assembly member, and you're here sitting down and doing nothing and feeling hopeless. This is the time that you have power. This is the time that that power that belongs to people is in your tongue, and you're supposed to use it. And what are we doing? Busy talking about nothing. Busy blaming each other. Busy insulting each other. Busy fighting each other for people who do not care, absolutely do not care about you. You think if they've not spoken about the woman who has given birth in captivity that they're going to speak to you if anything ever happens or they matter about, they care about your life. You don't matter to them. All that matters is the, is the thumbprint. And they're going to buy it anyways. They will use your money to buy it. They will use your collective wealth to do it and your city that fighting each other when you should be God working together to ensure that only people who are deserving of power people who think you matter that we get there how do you wait for people who do not think you matter to be in power and you also make yourself not to matter think about it Stop sending WhatsApp messages. That's not what your job should be. Your job should be coming together, united, bringing out your little change. Who are the people who have computer character capacity that are running for office? Donate your 1,000. Stop saying you can't do anything. Just say you don't want to do anything because you want the status quo to continue. You want corrupt people in position so that your own corruption will be hidden and you will continue it. Or one day you are aspiring to be there. Agree on that. Stop saying that you cannot do anything because 
have the power. You have so much power in your hand. Every time you're praying for a miracle, and every four years a miracle comes, that miracle comes in the form of election. And if you do nothing about it, who? You'll be that dumb slave that you Ukrainian soldiers were singing about. I'm tired of being a dumb slave. And I will not allow myself to be a dumb slave. What about you? Think about it. All right, my great and wonderful people. I believe see all of you that don't watch this video. Enough, not day enough. We not get any other thing when it be say we need to talk concerning this very matter. Yes. This one at the time when it be say we we'll know who be who for inside this country. Not be to the complaint, not be in matter. But to do something when it be say it will make that complaint stop, na in matter. And may we believe her or not, say these old politicians, when it be say they continue to parade their says so no one among them, from the beginning to the end, when it be say, he get understanding on how to help us stop the complaint. No one of them. Now we will determine whether we will stop this complaint. Or we not go stop her. And if we say we want stop her, and we determine say really we want stop her, not be by folding our hands and hoping to God to help us. No, God don't already help us. Then time don't reach for us to do our quarter. Now the fact now it be this one. Just as you hear this, our sister just talk right now. Time don't reach for us to turn our attention away from this politician and turn to our own selves. Just like as we come to the realization of that answer's protest to say enough, don't they enough. Although at the end they sabotage the movement, but all to today, we still get the track record of that movement, even all over the world. 2023 they come. Now the time for us to say enough, don't they enough, to set a track record when it be say yes, it will emancipate us and our children, our fathers, our mothers from this matter slavery. Now, so we'll talk and reach concerning this matter. We'll leave una, make una share una own opinion with us in the comment section. Before we draw the conclusion, we want you this medium to really appreciate each and every one of you when you busy is still with us up to this moment. God Almighty will bless you. Your effort towards us on the channel will not take for granted at all. For the way when you busy they help us, they share this broadcast. Your likes, your comments, all of them we appreciate them. I bet me cannot forget to help us share this very one so that we still reach our brothers and sisters all over the world because we believe we want to see information, na power. And as we do so, God Almighty, God bless you. We would like to draw the conclusion of this program. Yeah, we will see you again when we see you. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.